Well, I lost my foot in a motorcycle accident in 1967. I was going this way, and the man that ran the stop sign was going in this direction, and he had no lights on. It was at night. So it's just one day I thought, you know, I just want to do martial arts, and uh, I didn't feel that uh, it would be, you know, difficult because I lost my foot. Um, but then it was. Ever since somebody lost a part of their body, there was somebody out there trying to fashion a replacement for it. You know, Wayne is willing to experiment and try different methods uh, to get a leg functional. Because you're, you're spending your entire life trying to cheat Mother Nature. I mean, these parts of bodies were not meant to walk on. So again, you want to just remind me where the real sensitive area is on your leg? I know in the past you've had problems, what, behind this bone here? That's been the big area. And the amputee will tell you what you need to do. And if you can interpret that and make those changes, then there'll be successful changes. That's actually a real common problem with traumatic injuries. The docs are so interested in saving your life that they don't really pay that much attention to the style of amputation they're doing. Really the most important part of this whole process is trying to get a real nice mold right off the bat. So a good cast will make a good prosthesis. If this was a pure science, it would be easy for anybody to do, or easier for anybody to do. That's why I disagree about the use of computers in prosthetics because it takes away that the tactile sense of being able to feel things, be able to feel the, the contours. As I'm, as I'm rubbing my hand over things, I can feel those contours, and I can feel those transitions real easy. I've got the butterflies right now, because I know in five minutes I'm going to go try that thing on for the very first time and basically see if it's good or bad. All right, there you go. Let's see what happens here. Well, you, you got some kind of suction going on there, huh? I do. All right, but the alignment's going to be way off, so hang on to the hang on to just a second here. Okay, Bill, try again. I'm low. You're low, okay. All right, that's the next thing you got to fix then. I said you're still high on that side, according to this thing. I think way short. It wasn't a little short. That's way short. More. Okay, come on over and have a seat for a second. And I'm just gonna, uh... Okay. I see you smiling already, that's kinda cool. <laughs> uh, if you asked a hundred amputees, they would all tell you exactly the same thing. The thing that makes the most difference for them is how it fits on their body. How does it feel to them? How do they balance with that prosthesis? such a fine adjustment with the fit and the alignment. And once you get that dialed in, it should feel very natural. You should almost forget about having a prosthesis on. It's just like uh, when someone first picks up a samurai sword. It feels heavy, it feels awkward. It doesn't you know, feel like it's part of you, but over years of training, it becomes part of you. It's, like, it's an extension of your arm. It's an extension of your body, it's an extension of your mind.